Rocky! Rocky! Watch out! Rocky! Rocky, get up! Go open the barn! These dreams, are they mine? Are they dreams at all? Or is it just a premonition? I'm sure Grandpa Teo would know. You heard Ma call me Rocky. I cherish the name, but it would be more accurate to just call me Rocky Jr. You see, I'm named after my great uncle, Teo's brother, or cousin. Grandpa Teo always called him brother. But yeah, that's who I'm named after. We share more than just a name though. It's like I was given the chance to live the life he never had. You see, Uncle Rocky died young. He died in the war. But he loved football. Was as good as Jim Thorpe. Scholarships. He was going to go to college and play. But he never made it. And now years later, well, it's like I said, I'm just like him. Big frame, great arm, ready to play some college ball myself. Grandpa Teo says I'm just as good as Uncle Rocky. Maybe better. Ma is so excited. Says I'm gonna soar like an eagle, up and away from the stories of our family's past. She always says that's why we moved east, away from the Lagoon Pueblo, away from Gramps. Not away from the farm, though. It's like we brought the farm with us. Ma wouldn't give that up. She says there's more opportunity here, I guess. What she doesn't know is that I'm even more like Uncle Rock than she would like. I've had just as many calls from the army recruiter as I have from coaches. I would kill me if she knew I was talking to the army recruiter. Everyone says Uncle Rocky was... lost? Well, not everyone. Not Teo. But a lot of people back on the res. Like he was under the spell of some Kyoko magic. Grandpa Teo says his brother was just in a tough spot. What are you supposed to do when everyone at home tells you if you follow your dream, you'll just be another one of them, a destroyer? And everyone trying to help you with your dream says nothing can stop you now except one thing, the people back home. What was he supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? And then there was his decision to join the war effort. Grandpa Teo says Uncle Rocky needed little convincing. He was a real patriot. Seems funny, eh? An engine fighting for the country that stole his land? Well, he wasn't the only one, you see. They all fought. For different reasons. Some needed money. There weren't a lot of job opportunities. A lot of them were told they needed to be more white. I guess that's what people said happened to Uncle Rocky. He wanted to be too white. But I don't know. Me and Grandpa Teo, we have a different idea. While Uncle Rocky might have wanted to be more white to follow his dream of being a football star, that's not why he joined the war. Grandpa Tayo always told me this. A lot of tribes were changed by the U.S. government. Not lost, not faded, but definitely changed. Forced onto reservations, there wasn't any way to maintain the warrior society. No way to prove yourself a true native. But the war, well, that was an opportunity. Not to be more white but to prove yourself a real native, a real warrior. So off he went, straight into the 31st Division, straight into the Bataan Death March. He may have died, but he was a real warrior. But what of the sacrifice? To leave mom behind and everything else? Is it worth it? What would Rocky do? I have to think. And just like Uncle Rocky, there's only one place I know where to do that.
It has been said many times in my tribe, life offers us the opportunity to become a sacred warrior. A warrior is one who bravely goes into those dark areas within themselves to ferret out the truth of their being. It takes great courage, stamina, and endurance to become a sacred warrior. The path is narrow, the terrain rough and rocky. You will walk alone through the dark caves, up those steep climbs and through the dense thick forest. You will meet your dark side, the faces of fear, deceit, and sadness all await your arrival. No one can take this journey but you. There comes a time in each of our lives when we are given the choice to follow this path. Should we decide to embark on this journey, we can never turn back. Our lives are changed forever. On this journey, there are many different places we can choose to slip into and hide, but the path goes on. The sacred warrior stays the course, wounded at times, exhausted and out of energy. Many times the warrior will struggle back to their feet to take only a few steps before falling again. Rested, they forge on, continuing the treacherous path. The journey continues. The sacred warrior stays the course, weakened but never broken. One day, the battle, loneliness, and desperate fights are over. The sun breaks through the clouds, the birds begin to sing their sweet melodies. There is a change in the energy, a deep change within the cell. I now know what I have to do. I know the truth of my being.